We're back on this Saturday morning at Sports Medicine Weekly, Chicago's premier sports medicine program, coming your way each and every Saturday between 8 and 9 a.m., only on 670 The Score. I'm Steve Cashel with Dr. Brian Cole. Our producer is Shane Reardon. And Dr. Cole, I go back to the Chicago Sports Summit, right? We had the women's panel and everything. and yeah, I immediately, awesome. th- Yeah, I immediately think about women getting pregnant and continuing their sports. There have been a couple of, I know, WNBA players who have uh, golfers as well. Yeah, you know? I mean, I, I will tell you that's the, there's a whole body of science that deals with the physiology of pregnancy and what's right and what's wrong to do from an exercise perspective because, you know, blood flow, all these things change and it pro- and it, their sensitivities and the risks and so forth will vary by trimester, you know, how far they are along in their pregnancy. So I'll tell you, as an orthopedic surgeon, not something that I have to deal with every day, but I certainly do have to deal with women who have orthopedic issues who are pregnant okay, or that's planning on getting you. pregnant. Yeah. And then we have to gauge their rehabilitation and so forth based upon those parameters. And, and it takes a knowledgeable individual because, you know, every three months or so things are dressed dramatically different. There's things you can do, things you shouldn't do, and so forth. Well, let's bring on our next guest uh, from Athletico. Athletico, we know, does a terrific job. This is Tina Christie. She's out of the Park Ridge North Clinic. That's where I grew up, Park Ridge, Illinois. Love Park Ridge. And our topic is pregnant runners, tips and guidelines to ensure soon-to-be moms are running safely. Immediately, Tina, thanks for joining us here on Sports Medicine Week. I thought, um, do any pregnant runners participate in these races, the 5K or even, should I say, the Chicago Marathon or other marathons? They do, and um, thank you for having me. There are many pregnant women that are exercising well into their third trimester as well as up to the day before delivery. And there are many women who look at running as one of the easiest ways to continue to exercise. So as a physical therapist who specializes in women's health, orthopedics, and sports medicine, we try to bridge the gap between all of those worlds and to give guidelines to our pregnant patients as well as to our postpartum patients, into how they can exercise effectively throughout pregnancy and then how they can recover and restore in the postpartum period. Tina, give me some basic rules. Like just let's just divide it into the the three trimesters, first, second, or third Mm -hmm. trimester. What, like in the first trimester, does does anything go? Are there any concerns with, with running distance, frequency, intensity? Well, what happens in the first trimester is many women find that because of the hormonal changes, the influx, the increase in fluid volumes, their increase in their blood volume, that they tend to get fatigued. So the first trimester is actually a little bit more challenging to work out in. And then as they get to that second trimester, they actually notice that they have more energy and more ability to participate in exercise classes, in running, in yoga, and things of that nature. Then as they approach the third trimester, they start dealing with some of the more physical dramatic changes in the respect of the weight gain, the belly changes, and then they have to accommodate their exercises and possibly change it a little bit. And one thing that we really, really like to emphasize is we'd like them to listen to their body. So we want to give them those guidelines through each of those trimesters to say, you know what, if you have these particular situations happening, which we can talk about, this is what we want to suggest in how to deal with those issues and if it is safe and appropriate to run during that time or if maybe we want to make some modifications. We're visiting with Tina Christie here on Sports Medicine Weekly from the Park Ridge North Clinic from Athletico talking about pregnant runners. Uh, Tina, what are some of the red flags for a woman who is pregnant to be on the lookout for? So a few of the red flags, first of all, as long as their doctor has cleared them for exercise and there are no high-risk issues, that's number one in priority. Then the second ones are if they experience any type of pelvic pain, pelvic pressure, any type of bleeding, we would want them to alert their doctor to that. Then as we go on to if they are feeling good and they participate, if they experience any type of incontinence, So we'd be talking about stress incontinence. If they sneeze, cough, laugh, or during a run or any type of impact exercise, if they have incontinence, that means there's a breakdown in the system and the intra-abdominal pressure is not being managed well. So that would tell us, you know what, maybe we need to 
give them some exercises that actually would help improve the entire pelvic or neuromuscular system working as a unit so that they don't have those symptoms. And then from the perspective of if they have joint pain, if they have any pain along the hips, the back, the ankles, the knees, we would want to be able to give them special exercises to help improve their ability to participate in the exercises that they wish to. Because as we know, pregnancy and the event of labor and delivery can be one of the most athletic events that they will go through. Let me ask you uh, maybe a, a, a separate topic um, I deal with a lot of runners who, when they get injured, the psychology of injury and the inability to run can be pretty paralyzing for, for lack of a better word, for some of my patients, just because Absolutely. it's part of their psyche, you know, for lack of a better word. And right. um, how do you, I have to imagine you've dealt with women who are pregnant or just, you know, out of their minds in terms of, I, I can't believe I can't run or I can't run the distances. And all of a sudden, you know, there, there are people, I've had patients say, look, I've never missed a day of running in the last 15 mm-hmm. years and I never plan to do it. You know, it's an, right. it's just part of their DNA. So have you had to deal with that psychology of uh, women who you say, look, we've got to make some changes here and this is why. And obviously you're pregnant. It's not just you, you're, you know, you're, you're more accountable now and so forth. Yes, absolutely. And what we do is because we know that even if we gave them low-impact exercises, they might have the tendency to still try and run. So we give them exercises that actually fulfill that need. We have at Athletico, our clinicians are trained in giving impact preparation exercises. And I will tell you, when I take my pregnant and my postpartum patients through what we call a a impact preparation program, when they go through that, they look at me and they say, you know what, I'm good, that's enough, because it actually works them effectively, and they see the value in it, and then they see that we also have their best interest of their long-term pelvic floor and pelvic core health, so that they're not dealing with issues in the postpartum period or they know how to get the care that they need in that postpartum period if they are. Tina Christie from Athletico. The website is athletico.com. They do a tremendous job and something, Dr. Cole, we've never touched on, right? The pregnant runners. Yeah, Uh, very interesting. You know what? It's awesome. You're obviously very knowledgeable. You're very well-spoken. And um, I can't imagine there's a lot of therapists who have this background. Uh, But uh, you're going to be a great resource, and we're really glad to have you on the show this morning. And we Tina, you, you're you. at the Park Ridge North Clinic, right? Where is that off of? Correct. That is off of Bussy and Greenwood. Yep. Know it very well. Not far from where I grew up. Hey, thanks, Tina. Appreciate you joining us. Thank you. Tina Christie from Athletic Co. We're back. Dr. Cole and I, more of Sports Medicine Weekly after these messages on 670 The Score.